The commander of Pacific Air Forces, PACAF, is looking forward to the day when the idea of combining cutting-edge drones with manned combat aircraft becomes a reality as the Air Force commander charged with opposing China. Leaders like General Kenneth Wilsbach are already considering how to use the highly classified program known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, despite the Air Force's pledge to withhold too much information about it. Wilsbach told reporters on Monday at the 2022 Air and Space Forces Association Conference, I would say it's in the very beginning stages because, in all truth, we're just starting to see the initial actual technology start to reach the field. Wilsbach used the MQ-28 Ghost Bat drone from Boeing as an illustration, which was first created for the Air Power Teaming System program of the Royal Australian Air Force. Wilsbach stated that, they're in the middle of working out how these could be employed. Therefore, as we move forward, there are a number of questions about combat platforms that need to be addressed. He questioned, what do we want it to do? Which do you prefer? That it be a shooter or a sensor? Do you want it to serve as a decoy or a relay platform? And most likely, I suppose I want it to accomplish all of that. How to incorporate it into the force is another thing to think about, Wilsbach said. Will it be entirely self-sufficient? Will artificial intelligence exist to the point where you can program the CCA to perform a task and it will be able to achieve it? Will they be remotely piloted, and if so, will the pilot control them from a different aircraft? Wilsbach brought up the hypothetical question of whether the CCA would be paired with the E-7 Wedgetail Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft or with fighter aircraft, as he has previously been outspoken about the necessity to dramatically increase the Air Force's unmanned capabilities. How much of that will be handled by autonomous operations? How do you control the aircraft? It's not a novel concept to combine the MQ-28 with other unmanned combat aircraft to act as organic protection for high-value assets that are vulnerable, such as tankers, observation, and command and control planes. This has only been lightly tested by the Air Force. For example, General Atomics has proposed a dedicated, protector, aircraft concept and Ghostbat has previously been mentioned as fulfilling such a role. Wilbach is a strong fan of this CCA technology because I believe it will allow us to bring mass against our adversaries, notwithstanding the unsolved questions. It will be challenging to deal with that. When you enter a combat zone, there are a lot of targets to choose from. It might be difficult to decide which ones should be your top priority and which ones you can put on the back burner for a while. It's a challenging atmosphere to work in. We will thus present that to our opponents we'll benefit from it. China is also aggressively developing capabilities similar to this. The Air Force is exploring for ways to prevent China from hitting American targets on the ground, even though the CCA could give China an edge by providing it too many targets to hit in the air. It is for this reason that we have a plan to counteract this and make it extremely difficult for them to target that we have concerns about their capacity to fire bullets and missiles, he said. And wide dispersion is what we're referring to. We have been attempting to establish bases in a variety of locations where we have not previously operated or in recent years. With plans to build new ramps, storage areas, and other facilities at existing airfields, we will soon have a sizable amount of funds available. According to Wilsbach, Runways on a little island in the middle of the Pacific will get extended so we operate off of them much more readily over the course of the next three to five years. Even in the Guam cluster, where there are already a number of airfields, additional runways, taxiways, ramps, and storage will be constructed there. These are some of the measures we are taking to combat China's potential to station missiles in areas where we operate. Wilsbach emphasized the need of supplying American forces over vast expanses of sea in addition to dispersing the bases from which the Air Force will conduct operations in any battle with China. The man claimed that, our enemies will try to prevent us from getting fuel, water, food, parts, and the people who will fix our aircraft to the places where they need to be. We're working hard and have received funding this year, last year, 
and we anticipate receiving funding for prepositioning next year. In order to ensure that you have resources where you wish to operate, we are positioning quite a bit of equipment across the entire Indo-Pacific, which will lessen some of the strain on contested logistics. Wilsbach said the Air Force learned some lessons about how China conducts business when it overreacted to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan last month. We did discover something, he claimed. Again, most of it is classified, so I won't say too much about it, but they displayed some cards, and we saw it, so we're taking that into account for the future. We always practice, he claimed. Hope you guys love the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to all. So you can get the notification on each upload.